The ants watched him bake. So did all the cupcake people. And as they watched, they learned how to bake together. They all began to help, and the finished cake was the best cake anyone had ever seen. But suddenly he woke up. It was all just the dream of a small boy. That was really, really good, Abhay. You're so talented. If you keep writing like this, you'll surely become a great writer someday. Do you want to be a writer when you grow up? No, I want to make movies. We should Rekha Mami our last movie over the weekend. She and Amar Mama were so excited to see it. Oh, really? They, they saw it? Oh, what did they say? He didn't really understand it, but he thought it was very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not that great. Um, I'm trying to make the next one much more relatable now, and even make the sound better. You know, like you told me. But Dad and I watched it again once he left. We are so proud of you. When is the next one going to be ready? <sighs> Can't really say, Ma. You know, you know, the stuff takes time. I'm just not happy with it. Well. We can't wait to see it. By the way, Dad got a new client who works in an ad agency. I'll send you her number. You should talk to her. Yeah, sure, definitely. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. You know, maybe once I'm done with this, I have something good to show her. Show what you have already done. Oh, there's someone at the door. I'll call you later. Okay? Oh yeah, I should. I should be getting back to work anyway. Bye, Abhay. Love you, beta. Yeah, love you too, ma. Bye. So, this is how it ends then? Where's the beauty? I've regressed. I've watched my whole life unfold into a neatly crumpled mess. I was blessed to come from pulp, a blank canvas full of life. Through me would shine the next Van Gogh or Yeats on me would write. I would spawn a revolution. My light, no one would ignore. But here it ends, just tossed aside. Thought I was meant for more. Hey. Hmm. What are you working on? Just the same. I see. How's it going? It's. It's going. Mm, no progress yet. No. Nothing actually. Nothing at all. Yeah, you know how it is. Hey, what are you working on? Oh, I'm just uh, my CV. You should get started on that too, by the way. Wait, you're done with your paper? It's a monograph. The impetus of China's actions in the East China Sea. Wait, let me get this straight. You wrote a book? It's a monograph. Wait. <laughs> when did you write a book? It's no big deal. Just all the summer and the last couple of months. That's like a third of the time I've spent trying to write this, and I'm not even finished yet. Where, where do you get all your material from? Oh, just interviews and declassified documents. I wish I could write like that, man. I just keep writing page after page, and I get absolutely nowhere. Meanwhile, you're just you're writing books, and you're writing about things that are actually useful. Have you eaten anything yet, Rahul? Did you did you always think you'd end up here? I mean, when you imagine your future, uh, did you? Did you imagine like you were gonna be writing books? Are you happy doing what you're doing? Let's go get some food, yeah. Sure. 
It's a monograph, by the way. A monograph. I mean, it's kind of a shitty feeling, right? Trying to fill that sheet of paper with your accomplishments. Only to realize that it's way harder than it should be. Like, I've never achieved anything. It's not really that big of a deal, you know. If anything, it's an ego trip from memory and you can ever accomplish. We can finally brag about ourselves without having to be humble. I mean, it's just another thing you gotta do. It's an easy way for employers to talk to people. It's easy for you to say. You've written a book. It's a monograph. It's just that there's so much fucking data attached to these things. You can't tell me a person's worth can be measured by what's on their resume, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think people are a little more complex than that. You can't... You can measure people's contribution to something a little more intangible. Achha. In the end, we're all just reduced to sheets of paper anyway. Wow. You being a real downer today. Can't finish your CV. No, no, I'm done. It's just that it's completely blank. <laughs> he just stuck on the screen there. Ooh! Writing a screenplay? What's it about? I'd rather just talk about it once I'm done with it. Come on, just tell us. Maybe we can help. Okay, so it's about this girl and she's trying to get some work done but she keeps procrastinating or avoiding her work because she's haunted by a djinn. What's a djinn? A genie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, before Disney even came out with it, right? Djinn is a mythical creature who puts you in a dreamlike state and feeds on your life. Right, exactly. Because I wanted to make a horror film. But I wanted to make a horror film about something that really terrifies me. Something that I think terrifies every single one of us. A horror movie where the antagonist is, is time itself. And, and, and age. Growing old, dying. Without having accomplished a single thing. Without having anyone even remember your name. Knowing that you'll be forgotten. Knowing that you've had absolutely no impact on the world that you've been born into. And at the same time, you're getting the life sucked out of you every single day. And you fail and fail and fail until you're just not capable of making anything. Until you die. I think it needs a stronger plot. What did Andres say? I haven't met him, man. It's, it's just not ready yet. Hey, didn't you mention an idea like this a year ago? Well, maybe I overstepped, but I'm still above the ground, and there's a great deal I could do without being renowned. A degree that marks the moment that he made his parents proud, a diary entry that held her when she couldn't make a sound. The photograph that captured all the little things they missed about a long forgotten time which through me would still exist. Hey. Hey. It's nice to see that you're still alive. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Seriously though. I just didn't want to come to you with something that's unfinished. You know that. Well, it's kind of my job to help you finish it. Yeah, I get that. Amy, did you like the concept note? Well, it's not really about whether I like it or not. You know, it's about whether or not it works. Wait, did you not like get it something? I mean, it is pretty confusing, I'll give you that. The thing is that it's a horror film, right? But I get that, you know, but there's no really a, a plot. It's just a series of random events. I mean, I was going for something more like a character study. Yeah, but it's not really, you know, made for a wide audience. I mean, who are you trying to reach here? You say that this is a horror film, but this is not really a genre film. But that's kind of the point, isn't it? To make the character really relatable. Or or make the situation relatable, at least. I mean, we've all gone through periods of unwork and procrastination, and we've all had those same existential dilemmas. And everybody eats breakfast. But it wouldn't be particularly interesting to see a man eat a whole sandwich, would it? I mean, it could be if it was done right. I don't think you're understanding. You're about to enter an industry. 
in a profession that requires a significant financial investment, money which you don't have. You know, I mean, you really need to think about the marketability of your product. I just want to make something good. I just want to capture how everybody feels. That's all artists do. And I admire that, you know, but I, I, the, the industry doesn't really care about what you're feeling. You don't make films to work through your own issues. I mean, you make films for your audience. Entertain them. I just need to make an impact. You're not your work, okay? And at some point, you're gonna be forced to make compromises. You either compromise in your work or you're gonna be forced to compromise in your goals. I mean, you might be this visionary filmmaker and then end up working in advertising all of your life, you know? Or maybe uh, end up teaching because the industry doesn't have the patience you thought it did. I think I've forgotten how to even write. Look, maybe you can take a break, you know? There's a junior who needs some advice in a project she's starting. I can give her your number. I mean, I can't even help myself. I doubt I can help her out at this point. Just give it a shot. Help her out. You sure about that? Yeah. Alright. I'll do that. I'll see you. Abe, these people around you on this campus, they're not your audience. Don't use your work to try to define yourself, okay? I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. See you. Hey, well, I can see, right? Hey, just call me bags. Uh, so anyway, I was just doing prep here, so yeah. I thought I'd call you here. Yeah, yeah, no worries. What are you working on? Oh, okay, so we're in the uh, his father is Yahoo, very curious guy, and uh, he too, like everyone else, is looking for peace of life. And then he meets this guy who has this weird, elusive character. Uh huh. So, like, the guy tells the main guy his answer, and he's just left awestruck. And I was thinking, like, the main guy could have inquisitive friends who, like, want to know what happens, but he's just so speechless. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that. Okay, but so what are you trying to say with your film? What do you mean? I mean, what part of the human experience or the human mind are you trying to explore? So like, in the end, the characters just realize that they're in a film and like, I was thinking maybe they could have movie and TV references and cliches just play out after one another. <clears throat> Look, this is all interesting and stuff. I mean, it really is. Uh, but you need to dig a little deep, a lot more deeper. I mean, you need to start organizing your work and write till you know what you want to say. Something that only you can say because it's your perspective. I, I was just thinking maybe I could make something funny. Look, it just needs to be a lot more meaningful. I mean, you have to understand that when you have an audience's time and attention, you need to give them something meaningful. Can't it just be entertaining? It just needs a lot more substance to it. And look, I'll help you out if you want to with the craft of it and anything else you do. Mm. Well, actually, I, I'm already working with a group of friends. I, so I just wanted to float it by someone. Oh, okay. So, sure. so, yeah. And I actually have a meeting with them soon. So, yeah. Thank you. I'll see you. Awesome. No, no worries. You have my number, right? I can help you out if you want. Yeah. This just can't be where my path ends. I just know I could be more. If they simply understood my worth, then I'd change lives for sure. Or even just a few smiles that I could have to my name. A bored doodle, a love letter, even a paper boat or a plane. An origami rose. That would make a person's day. Flyer, newspaper, something, anything. I can't just be thrown away. Hey, Abhar! How's it going? 
It's finished actually. I'm gonna screen it at 5 30 in the preview theater. Wait, you finished it? Yeah. I was actually gonna call you, but you know, I thought I should show it to the cast and crew first. But since you're here anyway, do you just wanna come? Uh, no, I'll just get like some work finished. I'm pretty busy, so I'll. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so I'm just gonna. I'll see you later, but you should come if you can. Hi guys, so thank you so much for coming and um, now this is just a rough cut, I've not done the final thing yet, I'm um, still working on it, I'm gonna make it better but once again I just wanted to thank all of you for your help out here because I could not have done it without you and um, I mean it's not like Citizen Kane or anything but I had a lot of fun making this film and I hope you did too because that's why we should make films to express, to distract, to entertain and in the process if you make a person smile or laugh or cry or whatever you've done your job, you've made something you should be proud of yourself you created something and I hope that we can all create more together okay <laughs> I'm getting too sappy let's just start the thing <laughs> says this is the end of me. I've got so much more to give. I won't be bound by reality. I will fight. I will live. I'm above being discarded, disregarded, unfulfilled. I was made to make a difference. Leave my mark or be killed. 